we now have a question from Paulina out of California. I'll read the text okay. question to you here. It's got emailed sure. to us. Is it normal for my kids to act up while my husband's deployed? But of course, absolutely. How old are the kids? Oh, it's an email question. <laughs> yeah, she, did, did she didn't she say? specify. You're going to have to give yeah. us a, a broad shot. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, all all age levels. I mean, even infants can sense when parents are stressed out, you know, and parents can get stressed out when someone's deploying, you know, all the way up through school age kids. You know, in our Operation Hero programs, we see all the time the behavior starts to get, you know, really thrown off while they're in school. Yeah. Um, and even adolescents, they can start to act up. They might get in trouble with the law. They might, you know, things like that can happen. So. It's absolutely normal, and of course you should do whatever she can do to support the child, but your children. But um, that's completely normal. So what you're saying is that the the if it's the father figure that's leaving, he needs to make sure that he hands down the paddle before he takes off in deployment, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, Virginia, before we let you go today, we want to ask you what are some ways, um, in your opinion, that families and communities can embrace service members in their area uh, while they're, while they're um, bearing the stresses of a deployment? First of all, be aware of how stressful it is for people to be deployed. It's, you know, I mean, there are some cases where even both spouses are deployed. I mean, that's incredibly stressful if um, kids are staying with, you know, extended family and things. But in the case of one person being deployed, I would say, you know, invite them out. You know, ask them to come to celebrations for Valentine's Day, for Christmas, for birthdays. Um, don't not celebrate because the spouse is deployed. I mean, you know, invite them, but also let them have their space, too, in case they need it. All right. Well, Virginia, thank you for your time here today. Um, you bet. And, and the work you do to support families there in the San Diego area. Oh, of course. Thank you for what you're doing as well. Please check us out on the solutions page and uh, also those plugs I gave earlier. Thanks so much. <laughs> Will do. Thanks, Virginia. We'll talk to you. Take care. Just like Virginia mentioned, um, several resources there she was talking. You can find links to those as well as others that are in place uh, for families in a deployed situation um, or looking to deploy in the future. So check those out and while you're on the site, be sure to sign up for our updates. By simply giving us your email, you can receive content and weekly updates about things that are up and coming on the show. And right now, we want to share with you a clip from next week's Real Story, uh, Chapter 2 of Departure. Here it is. This is the last time that he'll see him at this age, that he'll be able to enjoy him at this age because when he gets back, he's not going to be an infant anymore. We haven't told Olivia yet. I don't know how she's, she's going to take it because she has no concept of time. Thanks for being a part of the show today. And if you think the stories we tell here and the content that we discuss and deserve a wider audience, take action. Use the video clip on our website and push them out to your television, radio, and cable access channels. And if you take action, let us know about it. Send us an email. We'll see you back here next Wednesday for another live show. And until then, take care.